of the many hundred different types of ants found in the ant kingdom, one type of ants that has impressed the ant watcher the most are the Fedulae ants, which are also known as the big headed ants. And though the Fedulae ants are not blessed with venomous stings or formic acid sprays, they make up for the lack of this chemical weaponry with their ability to walk in a synchronized and coordinated manner which gives them great strength as a team thus enabling them to perform absolutely difficult tasks requiring great strength and power. Also they have these big size measures aka soldiers in their team which makes them formidable hunting unit that are capable of taking down huge size trees without much difficulty. And to watch these ants carrying away this big sized and heavy food in a beautiful rhythmic smooth flow of motion is itself such a matter of joy and beauty. The other aspect of the Fedele ants is its diversity. The Fedele ants are one of the most diverse ant genus found in the ant kingdom. Some of them are small, some of them are big, some of them are red, some of them are black, some of them are timid, some of them are brutal, some of them like sweet food more, while others prefer the flesh of insects more. But all of them have one thing in common, the presence of a big headed major or soldier who are mostly of same size, thus making the Fedole colony or diamorphic colony consisting of walkers and soldiers or you may say minors and majors. With the help of the strong soldiers and acting as a team, the Fedele ants can protect their nest or attack and kill even their big sized and fierce enemies. However, the one enemy the Fedele ant fears the most are the army ants who come marching in huge numbers, attack and rape the nest of the Fedele ants mercilessly, loot away their brutes and kill and carry them away to feed them to their queens and young ones. Not even the big-headed Fedele soldiers can face and defeat the army ants. When the nest of the Fedele ants get raided by a large army of army ants, only a few number of the Fedele ants are able to escape and survive. Now other than the army ants, the other ant species that the Fedele ants fear are the fire ants. The Fedele ants fear the aggressive fire ants because the fire ants can attack, chase, bite and kill the Fedele ants. So if any unfortunate and unlucky Fedele ants gets trapped in between the jaws of the angry fire ants, then it is a game over for the poor Fedele ant. And it is the same story for the big headed soldiers of the Fedele ants too. The notorious fire ants armed with strong mandibles, venomous stings and deadly venomous spray can easily subdue and kill a Fedele soldier. So when the fire ant army arrives, biting and killing the Fedole ants on their way, it is time for the whole colony of the Fedole ants to run away and yes, it is time for the queens to run away too. But as the ant watcher has already told you that the Fedele ants comes in different colors and sizes and also these ants comes with different levels of aggression. So in straight words, though most of the Fedele ants fears the fire ants, not all of them are afraid of the fire ants. And so when an unlucky fire ant comes running to this fearless breed of Fedele ants, then it turns out to be a bad bad day for the fire ants. The fire ant is brutally attacked, beaten mercilessly and its legs get 
minute cuts from each attack of the sharp mandibles of the angry fiddle and walkers. The venomous sting, the strong bites and the venomous spray of the fire ants come to no use out here. And his torture by the gang of the fiddle workers continue for a long time. After torturing the fire ant for some time, the fiddle ant workers decide to focus on the food nearby, which gives the fire ant worker much needed respite from the continuous attack of his enemies. After tending to his wounds for some time, the fire ant runs quickly away from the fiddle ants. The other fire ants that come there following the pheromone trail of the first fire ant gets similar treatment. They are attacked brutally and chased away. A few of them are caught. But in their over excitement, some of the fiddle workers forget about the strong mandibles and the sting of the fire ants. The caught and the trapped fire ants, fearing for its life, bites the fiddle ant worker with all its might and also starts making great effort to sting the fiddle ant worker and free itself. Finally, the fiddle ant worker, realizing its mistake, let go the fire ant. But has to pay a great price with its life for its over boldness and excitement. For the Fedora colony as a whole, a single life for a big chunk of food is not a bad bargain at all. However, something seems definitely wrong and rotten out here. Where are the Fedora soldiers? There are only Fedora workers out here. The Fedora workers are successfully defeating the few fire ants who have come to this place. But the Fedora workers have not been able to kill any one of the fire ants. The retreating fire ants will no doubt carry the message of the food to their colony and return back with their army soon. If the big headed Fedole soldiers were present out here, they could have definitely killed the fire ants by smashing their head. They could have also decapitated the heads of the fire ants. But surprisingly, the big headed soldiers of this federal colony are not out here for some reason unknown. And while the ant watcher was anticipating the arrival of the fire ant army, what came was a big sized fire ant major. And the aggressive fire ant major immediately started attacking the federal ants. The federal workers tried to fight back. But they were no match for this strong and angry fire and major. But still the federal and workers fought back bravely and wounded the legs of the fire and major. But the strength and aggression of this fire and major was beyond match for the federal and. And so the fiddle and workers began to run away one after another. Meanwhile, though injured in the lakes, the fire and major started to patrol around the food to keep the remaining fiddle and workers away from it. Soon the fire and army arrived. And with the arrival of the fire ant army, any chance of the fiddle ant workers taking back the food under their control became an impossibility. And so the food was ultimately captured and taken by the victorious fire ant. Mmm. -hmm.